What's going on duelists? It's your boy Nick coming to you today on the channel with a live duel video for my Mutant Goaty deck list going up against the branded deck profile that I recently uploaded to my channel. I'm going to be leaving links in the description for both profiles down uh, in the description below. That way if you guys want to see these deck profiles you can do that at your leisure. Um, but with that being said, welcome. My name's Nick. We do live duel videos and Yu-Gi-Oh content mainly focused around rogue and casual decks alike. If that's the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh that you like and you're interested in, then I highly encourage you to subscribe. I'm slowly but surely working my way up to that 1,000 subscriber benchmark, and I need your help to get there. So like the video, comment down below what you think of the duel, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, a good friend of mine will be piloting the branded deck, and I will be piloting the Mutant Goaty deck. That way you guys can see both of these decks go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, so like I said, each video is going to be one separate or each duel is going to be one separate video, just for formatting reasons. Um, so if it goes to a, you know, uh, game two, obviously it'll be a separate video. And if it goes to a game three, that'll also be in a separate video as well, which I will have links all four in the description below, along with links to each deck profile. So with that being said, guys, good luck, duelist. Good luck. We've already uh, pile, shuffle. pile shuffles. I'm just going to offer each other a cut. You got a dice? Yeah, I got, I got one. I think I have one, actually. We'll do high roll, and we'll get... Uh, get things started. Four. Right. One. One. Um, I will elect to go first. Go for it. Good luck. Good luck. All right, guys. Let's see what Mutant Goaty can pull off. My hand is very, very peculiar. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna set. Okay. I'm gonna set. And I will pass. Interesting. Yes, also forgot to start the clock. <clears throat> Setting to background passing. Not the greatest start for Mutant Goaty, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Alright, I'll draw. Yes, sir. Draw phase. <clears throat> Alright, standby. Mm hmm. Main. Yep. I'll go with Lure of Darkness. The lure is fine. Trial 2. Mm hmm. I'll banish a Dark Monster from my hand. Vanish. being Tragedy. Nice. Okay. Dusty Tragedy effect to search for a Dusty monster. Add it to my hand. One is banished or sent to grave. Yeah, that's fine. It's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, go right ahead. So this branded deck, like I said, I showcased on the channel, didn't gain that much traction, um, and I'm just going to chalk that up to there being a lot of branded saturated in the Yu-Gi-Oh market. You know, you type in branded deck on YouTube and like tons of tons of videos pop up, but I did do a branded profile and I think it's pretty unique. Uh, so if you guys do want to check that out, like I said, the link for this deck will be in the description below. Uh, it's very, very strong, especially post Sayak. I'm going to go ahead and... Normal. And what does it do? Uh, if it's uh, normal summon, summon or special summon, I can add a brand spell trap to my hand from the deck. Thinking. Okay. Uh, I will activate infinite impermanence, targeting the Aluber. Uh, infinite impermanence uh, targets a face of monster you control and negates its effects until the end of this turn. Then, if this card was set before activation and on the field at resolution, for the rest of this turn, all other spells and traps activated in the column are also negated. Okay. Important. <clears throat> All right. 
I'm going to go ahead and activate Brand Fusion. He's got the Branded Fusion. That is fine. That's cool. That is perfectly fine. Right, let me see what I'm going to do here. <clears throat> Brand of Fusion is so insane. And what is it? So Brand of Fusion lets you fusion to an Albass Fusion by yeah. dumping material from, from deck, from, from hand field or field. Or hand. Yep. Okay. I'm guessing you're going from deck because that yep. just makes the most sense. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be sending Fist of the Bellion okay. as my light target. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, Albass because that's the requirement. So I'll have Albaz. Okay. Uh, and I will, I'm gonna have to show a little bit back into it. Okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and fusion summon Albion, the Branded Dragon. Okay. Will you be activating Albion? I will effect? be activating its effect. Uh, can I read it? Sure. What does it do? Uh, it's special, or it fusion summons by banishing material from field, hand, or graveyard. Uh, okay. Uh, thinking on that. Um,. I will infinite impermanence Albion to negate its effects as well. And also negate any spell trap activated in the mm. same column. Interesting. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. But you will not be fusing. <laughs> alright, alright. Hmm. Thinking here. Attempting to leave main and enter battle. We're good. All right, for battle. Okay. 1800. 18, I will take. And 2500. 1800. And 25. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, leaving battle and entering main phase two. Sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate Party Plant Bufalacolia. Okay. With Felica left. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to use its effect to fusion summon with materials on board for a dark monster. Uh, sure. So, Elber. I'll be in the Brenda Dragon. The Brenda Dragon. Sure, sure. Or Masquerade. Masquerade the Tax Dragon. Love it. Uh, so also, I'll be so Bufalicola lets it's like a polymerization in the scale, basically. No. Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. Yep. No problem. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, it allows me to fusion summon mo uh, using monsters on the field. Okay. Or in my hand. Or in your hand. For a dark monster. Cool. Uh, I will set. Okay. Uh, and then at end phase, uh, I'll, I'll be on the branded triggers branded to triggers. set a branded spell trap or add one to hand. That's correct. That's fine. Just want to make sure. In here, yep. So so I'll be on end phase effects. Really good card. Mm. I'm gonna grab a brand fusion. Grab a brand fusion. All right. Follow up for next turn. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So I'm over to you. Right. I'll draw for turn. Go for it. Okay. Anything on draw phase? Nope. Uh, standby? Nope. Okay. Then we will go to main. Go for it. Uh, we're going to lead things off by activating infinite impermanence, targeting the masquerade. Pay I will pay 600 for that. Okay. So it is negated. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that then only activated effects? Uh, target one face must negate its effects. Effects period. Just okay. effects period, yeah. It's well, not just activated. Because okay. I know his burn doesn't activate. Right. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to start things off by going emergency teleport. This allows me to special summon a level 3 or lower psychic monster from my hand or deck, but banish it during the end phase. Okay. Okay. I will special summon a copy of Mutant MO5, and I will attempt to activate Mutant MO5's effect to add a Mutant monster from deck to hand. <clears throat> Grab a copy of Mutant Mutant. That's insane that you, you just ran through three. Triple, <laughs> triple intro. I opened all three. That's crazy. That's why I didn't do anything right first turn. I was like, what, dude? Triple intro. Okay. <clears throat> Activating MO5's effect, tributing itself, and banishing a card from a hand or field. In this case, I'll banish the Mutant Mutant, and that will allow me to special summon a Mutant Monster based on the type of monster banished, which in this case, since it was a monster, I'll be summoning a uh, Mutant Monster. Mutant Beast. It's the field. Cannot be targeted by monster effects. Also, it is a spell negate. Actually, here, I'm going to go back in. Sorry. <laughs> Anything on summoning him? Oh, you good. Yeah. I'm going to normal summon lifeless leaf fish and activate its effect upon summon to send a fish monster from deck to grave, except a copy of itself. Okay. Send a copy of Shift, Fairy of the Goatee. I will use the graveyard effect of Shift. Targeting a fish I control to banish itself from grave and it gains 500 attack. Okay. I will then activate instant fusion, paying a thousand life points, and this lets me special summon a level five or lower fusion monster for my extra deck. But uh, it cannot attack. Also, it's destroyed during the end phase. This is treated as a fusion summon. Special summon all vein, the essence of vanity, to my side of the field. Okay. Then I will synchro, because this is a tuner fusion, level two. Synchroing for six. Into a copy of Ariompos, the serpent of the Godi. Activating Ariompos's effect upon synchro summon. Um, I can banish a level 6 or lower fish monster. Actually, hold on. Do I want to do this? Give me... Thinking, thinking. Big think. Mm -hmm. uh, banishing a level 6 or lower fish monster from my deck. I think I was a little premature on the shift, unfortunately. I did sequence that backwards. Hmm. Misplay. That's alright. If it cost me the duel, it cost me the duel. I should have shift now instead of using Leafish, because I was synchroing Leafish off anyway. Oh. But you shift now, he would have gained 500, he would have been 26. He yeah, he would have been over, over that. Yeah. That's fine. I'm still using its effect to uh, banish a level 6 or lower fish monster from the deck. Paces, Light of the Goatee. I need to do some math here.
that's a, uh, I'm gonna set one and I will pass turn okay I will draw that's fine draw, let me know when you get to standby standby I will activate both paces light of the goatee and the Shift Fairy of the Goatee, both of which will special summon themselves in the following standby, and I'll take 1,200 for that. Really close. Yeah. I don't know. I think I screwed up. No, you were really close. Still your turn. Okay. Uh, so we're standby, right? Yeah. Main? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really screwed up. I should have killed that. I, I misplayed on the Shift, guys. I'm sorry. I should have held it. I'm gonna go ahead and. I should have saved shift to banish for normal fall of Albaz. Activate inspect on summon if you have any. I, I screwed up, man. You got it. Okay. I can't play through this. I'm gonna get killed by this. We're going to game two, guys. So that's game one. Uh, unfortunately, I really I misplayed so badly. Um, I shift when I had the leaf fish on board, but I should have just held the shift for when I synchroed into Arion posts. Because then I could have shift at that point, making him gain the 500, and he would have been 2600, and I could have beat over that, um, which would have gotten it off the field, and I wouldn't have had to pay 600. Because my problem now is like, if I chain anything, I pay 600, which puts me at 300, and then after that happens, I'm at 300 life. Legally, by game mechanics, I can no longer activate anything because I don't have the 600 life to pay, which means I can't. I'm just locked out of everything, my, you know, any kind of effect. So. I, I really threw that one, unfortunately, guys. I'm sorry for that. Plus, my hand wasn't great. I opened triple imperm. That's insane. <laughs> and, <laughs> even though I, triple imperm still wasn't even enough. Um, so that was game one, guys. I'm sorry if that was kind of, you know, shitty. Um, chalk it up to me being a terrible Yu-Gi-Oh! duelist, I guess. But uh, we're going to go straight into game two now. Uh, like I said, it'll be in a separate video. I'll leave a link in the description below, along with the links for each deck profile being played here. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought of that duel. Again, I do apologize for the major misplay that I did. And um, I'll see you guys in the next game.